Hello everybody, Paradox Ninja here, and welcome to a new U4 Let's Play. I'm joined today in Skype by Greenforce. Hello, what's up? And we're going to be playing as Navara and as Lithuania, respectively. But, I'm not going to be playing as Lithuania primarily. I will be doing a super fancy strategy, and I'm going to try and play as Ruthania instead. I will also be trying to do a fancy strategy, which is called Survive. <laughs> <laughs> I will try yeah. to make it out of this, uh, you know, sort of contest between me. I'm like encircled by four major nations, England, France, Aragon, and Castile. No way of expanding, at least in Spain. Um, but I'm sure I can figure it out anyway. Yeah, Lithuania is kind of like the same. It's like surrounded by strong people, but if you work hard early, you should be able to fix it, yes. basically. Right. Unlike uh, Navarra. I'm gonna start looking for alliances. Uh, yeah, first. I mean, there's no real purpose to us allying, is there? Or, well, um, is there? I mean, it might stop some people from. Yeah, it, primarily, it might just scare off some people from attacking you, but. Yeah. Eh, what the hell? All right, I'm gonna also. As long as you promise not to call me into dumb wars, they're gonna ruin me. Because this, the initial things that I have to do is gonna mess up the nation kind of badly. So. That is fine by me. I'm gonna create some galleys because I'm gonna go to war with Ireland. And uh, for that, I need a bit of a stronger navy because they do start off with a few more ships than I do. Well, one stronger more ship. navy? Strong. Okay, I will also get a leader for my navy. It's not that bad. 2-2. Two, two. And my king will rule the army. Also, I've got a bit of a problem, which is that if my king dies, who's 46 years old, I get in a personal union war between Castile and France. <laughs> so, um, we must pray to all the gods. All the gods. And I uh, hope that it works out in my favor. Also, I'm going to start working on relations with Munster to um, get military access. Talking about gods, uh, the gods do not favor Lithuania because the vast majority is the wrong god. Oh, yes, of course. Well, the correct god, but... But the wrong religion. Yeah, I can't, well, I can't really remember what the... Well, the wrong pope, I mean. The wrong leader. That's what yeah. they're disagreeing about, so... Yeah, more or less. <sighs> anyway. Fucking religion. Anyway, we should just uh, start playing if you're okay with that. I'm ready whenever. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just need to do the things. Well, yes, England has a protective opinion over me. Now that's fancy. That means I can perhaps get an alliance. Oh shit, we need to break up our alliance, by the way. Could you... I don't have any diplomats. Alright, well, do you mind if I pause? No. Alright, let's go for it. Why do we need to? Oh, great power allies or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I'm allied with Aragon and you. Oh, Aragon rejected my military alliance because I allied you, I guess. So allying me was an overall bad decision. Yes. Now, let's break it as I have yeah two days and I'll get my diplomat back. All right. Okay. Just uh, break it off when you can. All right, I can get allied with Britain. Well, England. Yeah. Henry of course, they're going to get kind of ruined in the beginning here, but still. I guess yeah. they'll help in Ireland or whatever? Yeah, in the long run, I guess they'll, it'll help me out as well, because they're going to lose the first war here. Yeah. I've, I don't think I've ever... I've never ever seen the AI beat France in the <laughs> but, I mean, the, the main useful thing is that they... I mean, they might not do much, but they might scare off the other Iberians. Yeah, scare off Castile or Aragon. That's useful. Yeah, and I might still be able to get an alliance with Aragon, if I'm lucky. Yeah. So also, England's got a province in um, in Ireland, which I can invade Leinster from. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Aragon will accept my alliance now. Sweet. Everything worked out, as long as Muscovy does not ruin me. And Castile doesn't declare war. Yeah. What about <laughs> luck here in the beginning? Yeah. Speed a little so bit more, maybe? Or yeah. do you have something oh, you need sure. to do? No, it's just um being very careful. Yeah. But we can speed it up a bit. So I did some explanation in the beginning, but basically for the viewers, my plan is to try and do the Russia thing. I'm going to try and sort of become Russia and uh, colonize Siberia, etc. Yes. So I'm going to try and form the Russian Empire, but, you know, I'm going to try and do the Russian Empire thing, but as Ruthenia, because that's more fancy. I am just going to go wherever this Let's Play takes me. Yeah. Um... And right now, that is invading Leinster. Also, Castile just offered me a royal marriage, which means they'll probably not declare war on me. 
you know, in fear out of uh, losing yeah. stability. Although Aragon or uh, or Britain might at some point ask me to be their um their vassal. Yeah, you, the you 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 just need to. I think at least what you should try and aim for is just try and become strong enough for them to change their opinion. Because once you have started gaining you know good relations with them, they shouldn't. I just need to pause the game. One yeah, second. I know what you're saying, but I I experienced at least in my opinion let's play when people had protective opinions over me rather than just turning into friendly when I become powerful, it becomes more domineering. It does. Yeah, they try to like you know keep you as your bitch, and they declare war on you and stuff. But I mean, we don't have to worry about that for now. Also, I'm gonna declare war on Lanester before I get warned by anyone. Okay. Oh, they're gonna call in Tyrone and Munster. I should have done this in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I need somewhere else to go. Any advice? Is there anywhere else to go? I mean, you... Brittany? Not Wait. that you can defeat Brittany, but... Hold on a minute. I just remembered East Frisia, right? They are not a part of the... Yeah, but... I refuse to believe you have a range to get to East Frisia. Hold on, let me have a look. Uh... Yeah, I don't have the range. God damn it. Okay, Sorry, uh, boss, I just need to do some thinking. It would, uh, but how, what's the castle's belly would you use anyways? Maybe I could go for, wait, hold on. Konakt is not allied with anyone, so I'm going to go with Konakt. What? And I'm going to be using the no castle's belly, castle's belly. Do you have range for Konakt though? Uh, that is what I'm checking right now. Oh, it's just out of range. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Well, like Munster is allied with Leinster in Scotland. What about Ulster? Ulster is allied with also Leinster in Scotland, and Leinster is of course allied with both the Irish nations. Check Brittany though. Would uh, would Aragon join a war against Brittany? Nobody would join. Aragon would almost join. So I guess I can just work on their opinion for a while. Yeah. Brittany is really the only thing I come up with. If not, then the world is lost. I'm sure there must be something. Like maybe I can get in on Granada or something when uh, when Castile declares war. Like I can declare war at the same time and just sail some troops down there. Although that. Have, might do, you have, do you have range for Granada though? I think I would. No, I don't. Fucking hell! I can only make it to <laughs> fucking Ireland. Oh, I miss the good old days when you couldn't migrate your nation. Yes, those were the good old days. But, I mean, I can still go for Brittany. I just need to sort of time it. Yeah. I'm ready for some more speed. Right, let's do it. I might be, you know, speeding down and up quite a bit, though. Yeah. Lithuania, you have a rival. Interesting. Yet foolish. Not foolish, that's just a thing I say. Never mind. Um... I mean, Ireland is kind of a powder cake. I guess it's just a matter of time before they stop allying each other and go to war with each other. I mean, I could also try to ally one of them, like Munster. Yeah. They'd help me against Leinster. Yeah, I don't think I can choose any rivals yet. Nope. Not strong enough. That is unfortunate. Indeedly do. Here's the thing, if I accept a royal marriage from Poland, will they just union me immediately? I think so, I don't think that's worth it. You need to try to stay out of that union. Yeah, I know, but there's an event or something, isn't it? Or is it, is it, do they have a decision to do it, or what, yeah, how does that work? They've got a decision, but I think it requires them having a royal marriage. Yeah. And opinion. Question is though, like, can it be done? Like, there are certain things. Like, say you play Burgundy, the Burgundy the inheritance thing, it just won't happen. Mm -hmm. um, uh. And I think the, like the the Aragon Union thing also just won't happen if you play Aragon. So I'm actually friendly to Aragon for some messed up reason. Uh, hmm, weird. Anyway, yeah, that's... I don't think you should do it. Just you know, as a safety precaution. Yeah. <sighs> I know I wouldn't take the risk. Alright. Fuck you, Leinster. Fuck you. I mean, if only, like, 
England would join me in this war. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I, I would at least question their usefulness. England? Yeah. Yeah, but they should be able to help me beat Ireland, I mean. Yeah, the Navy would actually help. That would probably be the best. <sighs> Why would they all join? And now all of a sudden, Aragon will join because they're... It's a distant war now. Like, it's gotten any more distance since last time I asked. <laughs> and England is 400 bucks in debt. This is pissing me off. Yeah. I mean, I could go for some distant place like East Frisia and then just vassalize them. Yeah, but you can't annex them until they've changed it up. I, I know. I, they, they, I, did, I don't know why they have, why they hate people migrating like that, but they just they just do. I mean, I agree. It's not really realistic, but come on. Yeah. <laughs> but how else are you supposed to play fucking Noara? Uh, I guess I can hope that Castile and Aragon eventually go to war, and for some odd reason, Aragon's winning. But that seems like a long shot. Yeah. Right, what's the furthest I can make it up the coast? I can't make it to Utrecht. But is there literally no one who wants to join the war against... Um... Ireland? No, nobody wants to join. No, I mean Brittany. Um, oh, it was Brittany I was checking for. It was, yeah. Um, Aragon won't because they've got protective attitude. So they'll only join like defending wars. But it's only uh. by 14. So if I could get that up somehow... And yeah, improve relations and marry and... That's what I've done. Do all the things. I've done all the things. You've done all the things? Except gift, but I'm not really... Yeah, no, that's not gonna help. Yeah. I could... Um, I could guarantee them, but I'm not sure that would help me. Okay, I just need to... Here it goes. I can't even reach Granada. I mean, I could go for Bern in uh, France, but then I'd go to war with France. <laughs> so, okay. For some really? messed up reason, Poland is in debt and refuses to join my war. Oh, what war are you in? With no, not in a war, but I want to go to war because I'm kind of, you know. Yeah. Uh, I really do rely on this war working out. What the hell? Why is Poland in debt? That doesn't make any sense. They're not at war with anyone. Oh, Connacht is only aligned with Scotland, and I don't think Scotland has that big of a. Wait, I couldn't reach Connacht, could I? No. God damn it. Yeah, I can't. It's out of range. Munster. Nope. Leinster. Nope. This is not really working out in my favor. No. What's going on over there? Things are not going in my favor. Because Poland is a dick. Mm. Fucking dicks. Everyone's dicks in this game. Yeah... Ooh, I just got free stability. Now that's good, but it doesn't help, really. I need the sun as well. My character is almost, or my guy is almost like 50. Yeah. Are we going, con going to conclude a little bit that this... No, we can do this. Can yeah, do of course, this. but you know. We can do this, I'm sure of it. What if I declare one Castile? Would you join me then, Aragon? Nope. But, yeah, but fucking Portugal would join Castile side. And I'm assuming I can't reach Scotland. Actually, I can. But, I mean... Oh, hello. Poland is paying down their debt. Come on, Poland. Pay your debt. Damn it. Brittany. Can I please dead you? Come on, Aragon. Be a buddy. Because now Moscow is doing a thing I'm scared of. Now they're invading Novgorod. Meaning that they'll annex them and then I'll die and stuff. Because they'll be too strong. Yeah. Can't you beat them yourself? Like, if they're at war with no. Novgorod? A good player could probably, but yeah, I can't. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm tempted to give these assholes a gift so that they will pay their debt down. I'm tempted to just declare war in fucking Leinster just to see what happens. <laughs> Although I'll probably get my ass kicked. Well, I, not properly. Uh, probably I will get my ass kicked. What about yeah. Brittany? Are they at war with anyone? No. 
Because I think Brittany only has like five troops. So I could technically no. not have six troops. They are pretty strong. I remember that from playing Provence. They are stronger than they look. Right, I'm gonna take some loans and I'm gonna go to war with them. Alright. Oh, it's f I can only take one ducket loans. Oh, I can give you some cash. Oh, yes, please. How much can you give me? Not too much, as the war I'm gonna go into is gonna be pretty brutal. But my income is pretty good, so... Oh, 50, yeah, that's good. I do have some cash to spend about. Right, I'm just gonna get as many troops as they have, which is six, and then go in there and hope for the best. Oh, you're oh. no longer in sync. What? Um, I'm sure it's no problem. You sure? Uh, we can rehost if you'd like. Okay. Alright, let's rehost then. Alright, let me check. Yes, Castillo's protective. England hates me though, but it's okay. Could do the war now immediately though, but let's do the intro first. Yes. Oh fuck yeah, Novgorod is actually. I'm tempted no. to just leave, delete everything I've recorded because um, I'm afraid I'm gonna mix it up when I edit it. <laughs> uh, that's awkward. That's probably the most awkward thing ever when you add things to the video and upload it without like those parts which you definitely do not want to upload. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, that's so bad. Ready. All right, you ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Hello everybody, Paradox Ninja here, and welcome to a new EU4 Let's Play. I'm joined today in Skype with Green Force. Hello. And we are playing as Navarra. And uh, Ruthenia, currently yeah. known as Lithuania. But that will change if everything goes according to plan. Yes, and if everything changes or goes according to plan, I will still be Navarra. But I will be a big Navarra. Yeah. yeah everyone loves Navarra. So, <clears throat> point one on the, on the agenda is to survive. Yeah. And to do that, I will be looking for an alliance with Castile, and they have protective opinion of me. So they will accept the alliance. Ooh. Sweet. Do you think they'll join a war against Aragon? <sighs> I don't know. I really don't know. Right. Would they? I don't know. I, I can't say. But what I'm actually thinking of doing is like, declaring war on Leinster straight away, going to Ireland. Before they make any allies. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna get a bit of a navy as well, because that's necessary. So you don't think like... No, never mind. What's up? I was just thinking, I am, I'm just not used to actually building navies. It's just a foreign concept to me. Oh, yes, well, I don't know. It's kind of necessary, because I think the Irish, they have just like one or two more boats than I have. So we yeah. to be able to beat them when I try to land on their shores. By the way, the Lithuanian economy is pretty darn good for some weird reason, so... Right, have you gotten any allies yet, by the way? Uh, soon to be Poland, if the gods smile upon the world. Mm -hmm, indeed. Uh, you ready to turn pause? Yeah. Alright, we're just gonna play speed 1 for like the first, you know, second. Okay. Alright, still accept my lines. Poland accepted my lines. Aragon. Oh, I can declare one Aragon and Castile would join. Hello. Dude, they have, dude, they have any claims? Dude, uh, Castile have no claims. And you know the new function where you will retain, you will be war leader regardless of what, you know, whatever. Yeah, and I am going to declare war without a cast spell either, though, because I'm not going to sit back and let Aragon get any allies. Yeah, that's actually useful. So, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to stop producing boats. And just go for my Latin knights. Of course, uh, Castile might desire some of these regions, with, which might make them take them themselves. But yeah, yeah. But I mean, the ones like Pirineo and stuff that they don't border, they should. Yeah, they'll most likely give that to you. So, so you should probably just run into Castile and That's hide. Already doing it. Going into <laughs> their vast country. Okay. Right. We are now at war with Aragon. So this is where I need your help, Castile. I'm not gonna move my. Oh yes, yes, yes! An heir to the throne, six one three. Oh. Uh, you guys might have missed this, but what would have happened if I died is that there would have been a succession war between France and Castile. Um, Aragon just put their army on their navy, I think. So I can march into the mountains now. I'm gonna totally go for the province of Aragon, though. Yeah. That's like the most valuable. Oh shit! Nope. There they are. Don't attack me. 
We, I thought they went on the boat. They didn't. You didn't run into the ocean, or no? What, what did I? What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't run into Castile. I'm afraid I didn't have an army of Jesus. <laughs> No, but uh, Castile is going for their army right now, and they are numbering them like 2 to 1. Mm. Which means I can go and start occupying. Do you mind if I put it on speed 2? No, I'm cool. I am, I've done everything I need to do. Well, not everything, but you know. I'm going to go. They're not attacking the Aragonese Navy or army, they're just sort of walking around it. Well, they will eventually. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'll well, watch that... this Aragon anyway. Hmm. Well, they, they have the yeah. They have allied someone. They've allied. Oh man, they've allied Urbino. Everyone, watch out! <laughs> Urbino is coming. Well, I mean, historically, that's where the Borgias were. You know, so the Borgias were pretty dangerous. The what now? The Borgias. You know, the family with the Pope and the, the everything. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is about it. Don't play Assassin's Creed. Oh shit! They just attacked me. Fuck! I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that's a classical oh, mistake. Oh. Castile's coming, but they're not going to get there in time. I did it. Yeah, but you're not going to really do anything any of this, are you? Um, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I, I'll, I'll Castile can still win the war, so it's not a really an issue. It's just a manpower loss. That's the big Yeah, game. also I need to occupy provinces. No, you don't. Um, the new f You're the war leader, right? Mm -hmm. And... If Castile do not want the province, they will give the occupation to you. It's the new function. It's awesome. Oh, right. Oh, that is pretty sweet. So, yeah. All right, Castile's attacking them now anyway, so... Yeah, once my economy improves a tiny bit, or, yeah, once I have some cash, I can start sending you some money and you can rebuild your army. Yeah, they stopped attacking them as well now, so... Mm. I hate how the AI can't make up their mind ever. All right, so now I'll to Novgorod. Muscovy, you're going down, bruh. Going down. I actually think this will be a bit easier than my Albania Let's Play because I started off with three base tanks. So I kind of have an economy that can support my army. <laughs> like, there's nothing worse than being a one province miner with a base one tax. <laughs> Never played anything harder. Oh. Like, literally, well, I... you make like 0.01 in a month or something. Anyway, yeah. Go on. Well. Yeah, I almost feel a little bit bad that I'm starting out as Lithuania. I'm sure there's at least going to be one or two comments complaining about the fact that I'm starting out as someone really strong. Yeah, well, you start off... It's it's an interesting country still, like, to play as, because you've got the diversity in religion and culture, and it's not actually a strong country compared to its size. No, yeah, it's... it's yeah. I get, my view is that it starts out really strong, but it also starts out with a lot of issues that... not they don't It doesn't balance it out, but it does really... Pose a challenge, battle, at least battle, to a battle, 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 battle. Aragon versus Castile, one on one. Oh. Please, shoot everyone. It's gonna be Castile. Castile's win. <laughs> all right. Anyway, yeah, go on. <laughs> Sorry. No, oh, no, it's all right. There. Okay, let me see. What mission can I take? Create an army for a nation. Sure. Ah, uh, I'm also occupying a province, Pirino. I'm gonna take as much territory as I can from them in this war. Yeah, probably should. I'm also gonna put all of my uh, point. I'm gonna get a national focus in administrative because I need all that coring and stability. Yeah, I might think about changing some things as well, but I don't know. I'm sure it's okay. I always do the mistake where I just oh, I need some points, and I click the focus, and then I can't change it for an infinite amount of time, and it's I annoying. I can eat that shit. <laughs> Would Riga be my vassal? Hell yeah, they would. Alright. Well, hmm. Can you see what provinces to steal the sires? Uh, I don't know if I can. No, but can, 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 can a person do that? Can I do that? <sighs> we can find out. Or maybe, I don't know. Let's see. It should say in the opinion thing. Yeah, they do. Oh, fuck hell yeah, they desire a lot of things. Oh, which things? Um... Why do you see that? No, oh, this is... Oh, okay, that's wrong. Do they desire Aragon? Because if so... Okay, okay, okay. No, never mind. It's it's Aragon that desires provinces from Castile. Okay. How do you see this? You go into the opinion and you hover over the... Um, the... You know, the Aragonese opinion is modified by... And it says... Once your provinces... You can see that Aragon desires all the things. But... It looks like... Yeah, it literally looks like these guys... Desire literally all of Castile, but 
Oh shit, fucking... Oh, they're attacking me in the mountains. Castillo, I, I need some help here. Oh, good. This stuff I thought your army died. Yeah, I've recruited three new units. Oh. Ah, uh, unbelievers. What is this? Atheist. Ooh. <sighs> Loyal unbelievers. Or something. Doesn't sound too bad. No, it gives me something kind of useless. Spider. When, like, when has anyone actually cared about spider defense and crap? Yeah, never. <laughs> um, Perinio is mine now, so that's good. Did you occupy it or...? Yes. Oh, you actually did something. <laughs> that's another difference. Well, I mean, I've just doubled the size of my kingdom, what can you say? Technically, I haven't annexed it. <laughs> yeah. No, it was not that. I'm just saying, like, my strategy would probably be to hide out in Galicia until everything else was done. Yeah. Whenever I... That's, like, for the ones watching, the reason why I'm playing as... Oh, come on. Are you kidding with me? I think something awesome just happened. What's up? Um, Give me a second. I just need to confirm the awesomeness. Fuck me. What? Okay, never mind. Show us the awesomeness. Okay, okay so here's the thing. I can declare war on Muscovy, Novgorod and Poland will join, and for some reason Muscovy have decided to go against Kazan, meaning that do they it. will be even do more it. fucked. Do it. Now I need to wait for a 10 more percent claim thing. I'm not going to lose this ability when I don't have to. Right, okay. By the way, remember to start a new claim before you uh, declare war. Why? You can do that. You can fabricate a claim while you're at war. as long. As yeah, but I don't think I want to claim too much, really, to be honest. Hmm, okay. Because... Uh, since I'm intend to become Ruthenia, I need to. And uh, Ruthenia needs to be my dominating culture. Oh shit, dude! The Aragonese capital is not in. Uh, it's in Valencia, which means Barcelona could be mine. Ooh. That is a base. What? Fourteen tax? Thirteen. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty decent. I know. I'm so used to playing like African nations and stuff, I'm not used to these high base taxes. I know, it's fucking insane. But I think Timbuktu has like base 10 or something. Yeah, but that that's about it, you know. Yeah. I think, I don't know, I don't, can't remember exactly. Okay, I think I just got my claim. Do you want to wait a little bit for some morale, morale though? Mm-hmm. It's healthy. There we go, that should do it. Just going to declare now before anything goes wrong. Yeah. Good, go for it. I find it kind of funny how, like... In every game I do as an OPM, I kind of have the intention to like, you know, Im to, to migrate, to, to go like to Ireland or to... Yeah, or that, to that's how you play those nations, you can't... But then what ends up happening is I end up going to war with a much larger country next to me and get a fuck ton of provinces. That's happened... It does. Yeah, I know, it's just happened with Aragon, you know, I'm taking provinces from them, rather than migrating. It happened with Albania, where I went to war with, uh, like, Venice and stuff. Yeah... But I mean, it's, I'm not complaining. <laughs> no. I mean, fucking Barcelona is worth fucking for all of Ireland, almost. Is the game bugging out? No, it's auto-saving. Oh, okay. It was just refusing to do its thing. Yeah, it happens on the 1st of January. Okay. Like, that's annoying, though. It doesn't It doesn't tell me... It doesn't give me any warning that it's auto-saving. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, can't, no. can't move your armies anymore because reasons. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, well, well, well. Well, a good thing to do when you can't move your army is just check the date. To see if it's January 1st. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> anyway, how's the war going? I've knocked out one of the vassals, and uh, Muscovy is coming around. So what do you plan on doing in this war, like, for the peace deal? Mess up... Okay, that's what you're thinking, Mr. Muscovy. You gotta make them, like, release Nishni Novgorod and... Stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try and cancel as many of their vassals as possible. Yeah. It's a good idea. And then, is there only do they only have one country they can release? Okay, no, they second. can also release uh, Kasim. Um. Yeah, they can. Which is the thing. But no, I I don't actually intend to. I just want to weaken. Like, cause if Moscow is weakened, I'm pretty much good to go. Yeah. I will be the the regional power then. Uh. Because Muscovy is the really only country that can threaten me now oh, until yes. the Ottomans come around. Dude, Dude. Uh, Castile occupied Aragon, but it turned out it, it, they gave it to me. Of course, the occupation. Yeah, but that's that's. I know. What I'm I know. About. It's fucking amazing. I know. I know. It's absolutely like I'm. T I'm telling you this war, art of war thing. It is glorious. I love it. I could become so big in this war. I could get so much overextension, I'd die. <laughs> Do it. 
I want to take like things. Aragon and then Barcelona because that way I cut off more provinces from Castile. Yeah. Okay, here comes Muscovy. They're attacking. Attacking. So now if I can get her in time, I can win. If not, then I can't. Mm. Are you kidding with me? Okay, oh, fuck me, that was close. Yeah, I think the, I think the Muscovites must. They have to start out with some awesome general or something. Probably do. Uh, a yeah, four shock. That's the thing. Can't be as awesome as Skanderbeg though. Nobody's as awesome as Skanderbeg. Who and where and what? That's uh the Albanian leader. He starts off with like five 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 general. Wow. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Albania's dead. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see if they still had him as their leader? Hmm. What? This information is hidden in the multiplayer? Fuck me! Oh, that you're in the armies tab? Yeah. Yeah. That's crap! Nah, no, it's because of competitive multiplayer. Yeah, but this is not competitive multiplayer. This is chill, chill, chill multiplayer. You might actually be able to turn it off in the options. I'll check next time we rehost. Yeah. Do that. So far, so good. Can I still check it in the ledger? No. No? No, yes I can. I can, can check you? exactly. Yeah, I can check. They have 23,000 hiding out in some really? place. Fuck. That's a scary thing because that means that... Like, how does that even work? I just killed like 9,000, I think, or something. Burgundy has the world's largest army. That's kind of weird. Yeah, everyone starts out going to war with everyone, so I'm guessing that's the reason. Yeah. Okay, I'm about to sin here, so I should probably stop. They're also at war with uh, England. I guess they're reclaiming Calais. Hmm. Makes sense. So the thing I've learned is that you just don't attack Muscovy. That's just the thing you don't do. Wait, you've... what's gone wrong? Did you lose something? No, but from experience, like a nation like Muscovy, you th you see like a tiny little army, it's like, oh, just 6,000, I'll just swoop in and kill it. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. BAM! Like... 30,000 million gajillion troops just swoop in and they just annihilate the world. That happened in my um, in my multiplayer list play where I played as Denmark, like the grand multiplayer, and then there was a guy playing Muscovy, and he was so good at hiding his troops. <laughs> yeah. But we did end up winning. It was like, I had like the longest war, like it basically was a war of attrition, and both sides took huge penalties. And it was like, the whole of Europe was at war with each other. And it ended up with just Denmark taking two provinces that were like these two tacks. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> that's the thing. Like Neva and Ingermanland to connect Finland and uh, Estonia. Oh. So that caused like 500,000 people to die. Yay. Oh well. It happens. Yep. Also, like Theodoro is getting conquered now. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Crimeans are taking them out. Hmm. Another thing that I need to do is I need to keep an eye out for religious rebels. Because I would really like to convert my nation to orthodox religion. Because the vast majority of the land I will be ruling is going to be orthodox. Yeah. So being orthodox just makes sense. Mm. Although the new papal things is actually pretty cool. Like the way you can buy stuff with your papal influence. Yeah, I haven't really used it. I mean... No, but you can, be, you can buy freaking stability, I think. Yeah, I've seen Yeah, that, 60 it's... papal influence and... Uh, no. How much is it? It's like 100. Is it 100? Yeah. B to 5 local yeah. But how are you going to get 100 people influence? I don't know, but it's, it's you know, it gives the Cath Catholics a purpose in life, you know, it actually makes it useful to be Catholic to some extent. Yeah. But I still prefer going Protestant. Yeah. It seems well, to be the, the best of the, of the uh, Christian religions, at least. Yeah. But I would prefer to be, um, more than anything, I would prefer to be Orthodox. Because I don't think I, I can't really think of any situation where I've played legitimately as an Orthodox nation and actually. I don't think I've done one either. Done something. I mean, because I did Albania, I, which starts off Orthodox, but it's actually the country actually starts off um, Catholic. Yeah, the same thing is kind of like the only actual modern-day Lithuania is Catholic. Everything else is Orthodox. Yeah. Oh, and the one Polish region. Mm-hmm. Girl. Yeah, but so far this is going good. The whole. Yeah, the fact that uh, Novgorod joined in was really helpful. Yeah, I've also won my war. Oh, great start, eh? I great know. start. So what do I want to take? Aragon and Barcelona. That's going to give me 80%. And then if I also take 
uh, Pyreneal. You should try and take something that will sort of give you... Oh, hello, 15,000 Muscovy troops. That'll give me what? Uh, what was I saying? You, I should take something that would give me... Something. Um, you know, opportunities for further expansion later on. Right, I don't think Aragorn has any of that just because it's also squished in between France and... Fuck me, that's 25,000 troops right there. But also taking Barcelona would give me a port to the Mediterranean, which would increase my range. So, like, this is the main reason why nations like Muscovy and France are so difficult to defeat, at least in my experience, is that you have to rely on allies to kill them, and your allies are kind of dumb. So, you know, like, the enemy has, like, one big blob blobbing their way around, killing everything. Yep. While you don't, basically. And the worst part is when you have, like, if you're at war with France, for example, say you're allied with Spain, and Spain has, like, 150,000 troops, but they're spread out in armies of 20. And then France just comes in with an ADK army and takes them out one by one. Yeah, that's basically what I'm talking about. It's fucking stupid ass shit. That's kind of what's going on right now, kind of. And also, another thing I hate is that, you, you know they have added that objective thingy? Mm -hmm. What I don't like about that... Okay, give me a pause. Arr. Does it even work properly though? I don't know, but like you cannot put objectives in your own land. So if you have like this massive blobification of an army in the middle of your land, you can't tell everyone to hey, go kill that army and stuff. Mm. It just doesn't work, and that's annoying. I mean, I've only tried it once, which is where I was playing as Portugal, and um, I was allied with Castile, and I was with England, and I told Castile to invade England, but they never did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did it with my fucking Portuguese navy, but Castile, nope, nowhere to be seen. Like, what is this? Like, all the Polish troops are standing in below zero, dying from attrition, while the doomstack of the Muscovites are just running around causing problems. Yeah, that's what happens with AIs. Basically forcing me to retreat, even though our combined strength could easily defeat them. <laughs> that's the game for you. I mean, they are taking some attrition as well, though, from running around with that doomstack. And this is Russia. I mean, r even the Russians are not, you know, immortal for the Russian winter. Yeah. By the way, do you have any? Do we have any timers um, <laughs> activated? I've got no timer running at all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't remember. I can have one running by next time we record, though. Uh, I'll start one now, just to fuck me in the ass. I don't. That, that doesn't sound very nice. Yeah, no, I know. Oh. It's just, ah. Oh. Apparently Spain wants Alicante. Guess what, Spain? You're not getting Alicante. Or Castile, I mean. I'm taking three provinces in this one. I'm going to have 96 overextension. I just hope I can beat them. Oh, fuck me. Oh, well, that was poor strategy. What happened? I lost an army. Oh. I shouldn't have lost. I was just greedy and I wanted to get the siege and I was like, come on, finish it. I'm willing to sacrifice these troops. Just give me the siege. I was like, nope. Doomstack. Yikes. Are you losing? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It all depends. Like, if we can kill this army roaming around, yeah. we can win. If not, we're going to lose, basically. God, you better win. I really do. I wish I could. I wish I was way I could see your country without having to ally you. Yeah, that would be useful. Also, Sweden's trying to break free right now. They're winning. Yeah, that's you know. What it is? It's not a really, not really a surprise. Yeah, Sweden, Sweden, it's Sweden. God, I wish I could tell Poland that diagram attrition is not fun. Are gonna be forced to. For some reason, I'm not allowed to set war objectives. Lose the prestige. Alright, how many troops do they have? Oh, oh sweet. I think Muscovy is doing the very thing that was threatening to make it so that we would lose. Muscovy has 17,000. How many do you have? Of course, you have to count their vassals, which are many. Yeah. <laughs> no, what the f- Are you kidding with me? That is such crap! 
Oh my god, okay, I need to think about this. This is awful. What's happened? This is awful. What happened? What happened? What happened? <sighs> the Muscovy just won against someone they really shouldn't have won against. Oh, shit. I'm praying for you. Oh, you better pray. To the gods of paradox. Just need to try and stop them. They're not stopping! Now of course we're going for the attack, which is stupid because we're gonna lose. Unless the guy gods are favorable. It's always the big question. My fingers are crossed, dude. Yes! The gods are favorable! Fuck yeah, gods. You're winning? Yeah, they decided not to support with their troops. Good. Just watch out, if you manage to kill their army, they're gonna start like mass recruiting all over their country and they're gonna have one in the nick of time. Yeah. Milan entered the military lines with Ericon. Okay. Just have a Muscovy, what's the problem? Have a Muscovy. Uh, Muscovy, actually, no, they only have 200 manpower left. Dude, you're killing them. More of a trick. Yeah, of course, you have to keep, once again, an eye on the uh, vassals. Because the thing about yes. the vassals, you know, they that's one of the reasons why Muscovy is so strong, because they have those... That's um, true, but... Yeah, vassals get like a base, you know, like how every nation get to recruit a certain amount of troops. So having a bunch of vassals instead of having a big unified country is... It gives you, strictly speaking, more troops. Mm -hmm. Right. But if you do manage to kill a Muscovite army, they won't be able to build up their army. So that's good. Yeah. I'm basically trying to kill all these one stacks roaming around, trying to exhaust them. Also, in three months, I'm gonna get peace. When I have enough diplomatic points to get That's useful. King's about to get attacked. Could work, though. I could probably end up allying France if I played my cards right. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah. Alright, back in the game. I don't actually think I'm gonna try to form Spain, just because. Can you can form Spain, can you? Yeah, I can because for some fucking weird reason, Basque is a Iberian culture. No, it's not. It's this. What? 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 Okay, I just need to keep an eye on this battle. Oh, yes, that was close. It is, and it's fucking stupid. It used what? to not be, but for some reason they made it part of it, and I think the reason is so that like, when um. Navarre gets conquered, it's an accepted culture, like, kind of accepted. Yeah, because fucking Castile needs more help. Yep. It's far too easy to play Castile, everyone knows that. Mm -hmm. Fuck me. But I mean, Paradox, I mean, priorities! I mean, it's kind of good for me, I guess, because it means that... Yeah, that's actually really nice for you, but... So maybe that's why they did it, so that if Navarre actually succeeds, they won't die. It seems like a, such an unlikely reason to do it, though. Yeah, but I mean, they have been looking into... You know, helping out smaller nations a bit, at least. It seems that way. I don't like that either, by the way. Small nations are meant to be hard. That's what's fun about them. They're meant to be hard, but they're meant to be... Um, unique, I think. Uh, like, what I'm talking about is how they have now their own idea groups. Yeah, I I'll, hate the basic sure nationalist ideas. Like, plenty of nations have gotten their own things now. And it's so awesome. Still a couple of ones that don't have anything, but... That's okay. Like Athens, Athens has Actually, their own idea group. Like my the first few ideas aren't that great for Navarro, but the last ones are really good actually. Like the first ones are like fort defense, mercenary cost, but then you get global settler increase plus twenty, wow. in, uh, efficiency plus ten, technology cost minus five, and uh, trade steering plus twenty five. That's in the same one. And then you've got nice. uh, idea cost minus ten percent. And then you've got stability cost one for minus ten percent. These are really good, actually. Like the last. Yeah, five. I think that's like I think that's how it should be. Like they should be difficult, but they should have like decent ideas. Yes. I think that's only reasonable. Tell me if you need money, but it doesn't. I don't need money actually, and I'm taking a bunch of money off of uh, Aragon now. Well, sixty. There you go. Oh. Peace. Oh, they rejected. Okay. Oh, I see how it is going to be. Oh, hello. And I that oh, I did oh my god, I hate that when you're like oh time to carpet siege it's all good yeah and it's like nope, <laughs> the doom stack is back. It's not a doom stack anymore though it's just a stack. 
I want. I want to pause the game. I want to see what's what's going been going on. Oh, you haven't peaced out yet? Uh, no. I'm gonna peace out on the 29th. They rejected my first offer. Really? Yes. Interesting. Foolish. They should accept this time though. Yes, there we go. Peace. Hold on. Pause. I've got a pretty big overextension. I'm not going to do the same mistake as I did last time. I'm actually going to get all my carpet sieging armies together and we're going to try and defend here. I just hope I can deal with all of these rebellions. I need to do some harsh treatment. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to do that. Uh, you couldn't take any more? No. Nope. Well, I guess the promises you took were really good, so... Yes, hold on. Uh, I need to do... I need to give them all autonomy. Uh, yeah, I guess you do. And let me do harsh treatment. Uh, can you do harsh... I can't do harsh treatment anymore. I guess uh, the autonomy has replaced it. No, uh, I was confused about this as well. How it works now is that, you know, you have like a rebel factions now and you have an rest instead of right. a revolt risk. Mm -hmm. What you do is that, like, say if a revolt faction has like a 80% progress towards the revolt. Oh, it needs to be 25%, I see. You can, you can go into the thing and you can like reduce their progress. Yeah. You can spend military power to reduce their progress. Right. Castle Which I think Patriots. is really nice. Catalan Patriots are only set to revolt in six years, though, so I should be good for now. Yeah. With this new local autonomy I've given them. But if they do get over 25, I'll give them some harsh, harsh treatment. Also, one of my problems is that I've got... Uh... Oh! Castile uh. cancelled my subsidies! What is wrong with you, Castile? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Unrest map. No! I actually rather like the unrest. I mean, the revolts are really powerful, though they can really fuck up your country. Yeah, but that's how it should be. They shouldn't. They should be difficult, not annoying. Yes, that's true. But it's <laughs> it was kind of funny really because in my Portugal game, I almost got the Cromwell dynasty. <laughs> oh. You know how Oliver Cromwell, with the whole rebellion in England thing, took over, apparently became the royal dynasty, Cromwell, and I almost got it, which would have been really interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's a... true. Weird Come dick. on! Help me! No! Darn it! I'm gonna lose my darn army. Your darn me. My darn me. Made a, made a pun. You did. Alright, what's going on up there? I just lost, and uh, I have not been paying attention, obviously. Or something must have happened, because I am down to 4,000 troops or so. Oh, shit. Anyway, Which I is think, bad. I think this would be a good place to end the first episode. Yeah, I guess. So thank you guys very much for watching. This was Paradox Ninja and Green Force. We'll talk to yep. you guys later. Bye. Bye.